Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. It is about, what is it? 7.30 something. Um, I'm getting a cortisone shot in my back. If you guys watch the last YouTube video where I go over all the supplements, there's a moment in that video where I'm doing bent over T-bar raise, and that is where I hurt my back. I've had a long, long issues with my back. Um, going back 10 years, playing football, training with half Bjorns in the mountain in Sweden really messed it up. And just over the years, it's you know it'll flare up and I'll get hurt if I do certain types of exercises. Uh, if I go too heavy with deadlifts, if I go too crazy with back squats, I didn't warm up doing bent over rows, so I'm dumb. Bulging disc, L4, L5, annular tears. So I'm gonna get a cortisone shot, going to physical therapy. But first, I wanted to show you guys well, all day long, basically. I wanna show you guys what I eat, full day of eating on a non-training day. All right, first things first, got my cereal, my protein cereal, five grams fat, 10 carbs, 11 grams protein, 28. And then I'm going to add some almond milk and my secret ingredient, half cup, half cup almond milk. Just gonna dump that in there. And there should be a little bit more cereal or a little bit more milk than cereal, and here's why. Boom! We're gonna add the fruity cereal protein. I'm only gonna do about, oh no, we should probably do three quarters of a scoop here. I typically do about a half, but just to increase that protein. So fruity cereal with fruity cereal protein, and a little bit, if you need to add a little bit more almond milk, you can. The almond milk is so low in calories. I'll mix that around and it'll be a delicious little high, high protein breakfast. Very low carb, very moderate fat and high protein. So we'll put this into my fitness pal. This is just to kind of get the day going, fun little treat. Um, I'm actually gonna go get my cortisone shot after I eat this. All right, I'm just sitting here out in front of the building where I'm gonna be getting my cortisone shot. I'm not gonna lie, yesterday, I had a little consultation with them. They asked me if I wanted to be sedated. I said, no, I'm not a, for a shot. I'm not that scared of needles. Going in now, I'm like, maybe I should have taken the sedation. My back actually feels somewhat better today. Like it feels good in the morning. So I'm like, do I really need this shot? I reached out to my friend, Steffi Cohen. You guys saw us collab before. She has, she's actually a PT and she says basically, you know, it's kind of like a Band-Aid cortisone shot. It's not going to fix the issues going on, but it will help with the inflammation. I just want to get back to golfing and lifting again as fast as possible. So we got PT later on today that we'll go to, but first things first, we just got to go through this. Let's go. I'm trying to pump myself up. It's like sitting in the car before the gym. I'm like, I need some music is what I need. Let's go. Let's go. Some music. Kelly Clarkson. All right. That's the table. We're going to jump on. We're going to Put, what is it, a local numbing thing? Local numbing and the steroid injection. All right, I feel like I'm being taken care of because her shoe game's on point. On, yeah. Like you guys know how much I love my shoes, so it's good to know people here love their shoes too. All right, just got out of, I, didn't, I was gonna say surgery, not surgery, just got out of the procedure where we had the shot and I am in my recovery chair. Blood pressure was a little bit high because I just got a shot, but pretty painless, five minutes, 10 minutes max. Definitely recommend anyone needing a cortisone shot to come to Dr. MP. He was great. All right, time for meal number two, which is more of my uh, my go-to meal in the morning. I was kind of quick, needed to get out of the house. Back, had my cortisone shot. Um, feeling a little tender in there. The shot wasn't too bad, um, but I'm home now, so I'm gonna make my eggs. I'm gonna get two whole eggs, a three-fourths cup of egg whites, two slices of Dave's Killer Bread. Again, this is a low carb day or lower carb day for me. So two slices here for both of them, 26 grams carbohydrates. Um, little pack of holy guacamole, I'll use half of this on top. And then I'll also have an apple. And again, this should be pretty, pretty damn low carb for me. My high carb days, right around 350 to 400, depending on what I'm doing. Today I'll be significantly lower, probably 225 to 250 in there. So just gonna pop these into the toaster. Mm. Freaking burn the pan because I was talking to you guys. I always, it's always a struggle. Do I go scrambled or do you go, I like my eggs over medium, I would say. I usually go probably 25% of the time scrambled the rest of the time. 
I like to break it on my avocado toast. We'll show you that here in a second. That wasn't super pretty. Definitely my secret ingredient. Bon Appetit. All right, so the reason I got that cortisone shot so I could get back to doing the things that I need to be doing, like what I'm about to go do, season three of My Line with Gymshark. We have a fitting today. Big deal. It's not going to release for months to come, but yeah, you guys aren't going to be able to see the clothes. I'm not going to be able to show you the clothes now, but stay tuned because I will have more information on that. All right, came home, fell asleep, woke up starving. Going to have a little snack before lunch here, a little G2G bar. I keep these in the refrigerator because they should be kept cold. Um, I like them because they're real food. Like a lot of times you get protein bars and it kind of tastes like real food. Here's a look inside my depressing AF. Like this is, this is definitely what a bachelor's freaking fridge looks like. Eggs, some veggies. I have peanut butter, strawberries. I'll be making this later on tonight. G2G bar. Let's put it into the calorie counter. Uh, 14 grams fat, so this is pretty high in fat. That's only downfall. 25 grams carbs and 18 grams protein. Uh, my fats for the day, the goal is to be under 80, 75-ish. Um, and then protein today, the, the goal is right around 240 to 250. It says 18. Carbs today will be a little bit lower, 250. I normally get 350 to 400, just depends on what I'm training. So that'll be the part where I'm a little bit more lax. All right, it's about 3 p.m., so late lunch-ish here. Um, just had my G2G was the last thing I ate, so it's been a while. I'm about to go ham. This is my spot. This will be the biggest meal of the day, probably. Spicy chicken power bowl is what I like to get. I don't know if you all have a teriyaki madness where you're at, but this is my new favorite here in St. George. So a lot of protein. Decent amount of carbs here, too. So I would say there are like three to four places in my hometown of St. George where I consistently eat Chick-fil-A, Viva Chicken, Teriyaki Madness, and then the occasional In-N-Out, double single protein style, animal style, light spread. That's my jam right there. I get that once a week. I take it over with my grandpa and we sit and eat them together. Since my grandma passed away, it's, our, it's been our little weekly rit ritual. We're on week two now. Um, so I've been doing that and just really loving, loving that time spent with him. But this, I come here probably twice a week. I do Chick-fil-A probably twice a week. I do beef and chicken once a week. So I eat out a lot. You know, cooking for one person, it's not always ideal. I will say if I wanted to hit goals faster, I would be tightening up my diet. That is the number one reason people don't see their, their I would say, goals as soon as they could is because they're not as strict with nutrition. Now, that being said, I think that there's also in life, it's a lot funner to you have a better quality of life if you're not counting every single calorie of every single meal. So. I'm gonna get into this and uh, I'm gonna track it. Look at this heavenly bowl of goodness. So it's got about two cups of white rice. I'm not gonna eat all the white rice, I'm only gonna eat one cup. It's got veggies. And then it has probably close to 60 grams of protein there. All right. Haven't really eaten at home much today. I'm realizing this day has been pretty lazy cooking wise. So. I'm gonna keep that trend going. I always stop in the frozen food section and just look at random things. And I would say probably once a month, I'll have a frozen meal. And that happens to be tonight as I'm trying to clean my house after the cortisone shot. So this one is a meatball marinara. And as far as meatball marinaras goes, it looks pretty good. It has, uh, it's made with 100% natural meatballs, six grams of fat, 36 grams carbs, and 18 grams protein. Guys, that's not bad. That is not bad for a microwavable meal. It probably has high sodium, but I don't care. 490, that's actually not that bad either. So this will be my little dinner and then I'll finish it off with a shake. Um, well, I'll add a shake to it as well. So I'll have two shakes today. Um, but honestly, I'll take this all day long as a little snack treat if I don't feel like cooking, which I have not felt like cooking lately. So we're gonna try this out, we'll see how it goes. You be good in there. All right, just because I like to weigh everything out, I don't know why, um, I will be getting, so this is a sample of a greens product I was sent for some culture subs to add into the future. 
I'm gonna taste it. I told him the last sample I didn't like. Obviously guys, I don't eat a lot of vegetables. <laughs> I need to add more to those into my diet. So having a greens product is super healthy, super good for me. So there's some acai berry extract, goji berry, pomegranate I think in there. Um, again, definitely makes the greens, smooths it out, which is important. I wanna know I'm getting my servings of greens, but I won't drink it if it tastes like straight kale or straight celery. Those are my two least favorite. What does this one have? Hey, this one has some spinach in it, huh? Ooh, it's steaming all right. Oh, oh shit. Don't worry, whenever anything spills, I can count on this guy to be running. Considering that I still have only about, I would say 50% of my taste back since I had COVID. Um, at one point I thought I would have like, I was wondering if I'd ever get it back, but pretty damn flavorful. Only downside, not a ton of food, but that's not bad though. I mean, it's 8.30 right now. I'll probably have a little snack because this is about the time I start eating. I'm here alone in my house. You guys will notice I did clean up a little bit. This is about the time. New golf bag from Vessel, shout out. Got my greens here. This is about the time, can't show you that stuff over there, um, that I get on Zillow. Um, we'll probably go look at houses here this next week. Have a, a realtor that's gonna show me some houses. So I get on typically, look at some lots, look at some land. Unfortunately, the piece of land that I kind of showed people on my Instagram, um, really cool piece, but I walked it with a builder and some excavators and there was just so much dirt work that had to be done. There was a wash that pretty much all the rainwater from the hillside went right through your property. It would have it would have cost too much to move. It would cost like an extra two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand dollars on top of what the land would have cost. So I decided it would have been a poor investment, um, especially considering of all the acreage below um, is in the floodplain, meaning I couldn't build anything on it. And it just at, at the end of the day, it was a lot more work than I wanted to do, and it was a lot more expensive. Um, than I thought it was gonna originally be. So I said no to that property, which is hard because I love that property, but we're back to the drawing boards. That was actually really good. That was, for what it is, that's really good. So here we are, I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna show you guys. I got a cup of almond milk and some water. So a little bit over eight ounces. Can you, oh, just, 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 just look at it, would you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and say it. I'm not biased either. That is the best way isolate cookies and cream flavor I've ever tasted. I was gonna show you the bits of cookies and cream, but that's disgusting. Mm. You know it's good when there's cookies and cream left on the side. All right, guys. I don't even think I need dessert now. I'm gonna tally up my macros and then figure out if I even want dessert. That's honestly, it's, it is sweet. I will say that, it is sweet. Mmm, I like it. All right, just got out of the shower, about 10 o'clock. I'm gonna go jump into bed and do some reading. What I was gonna eat, honestly, can't be bothered. Um, only because I'm low on my protein for the day, but plenty high on the fat and also, I'm just not one to force feed myself. If I'm not hungry, I tend to not eat, which probably isn't good if I'm ever trying to bulk. I'm not currently right now. I'm trying to get a little bit leaner, if anything. So I'm gonna be short on my protein today and that is okay. Um, what I'm gonna do right now actually is ice my back. Got my ice pack. And throw on these. How wild are these bad boys? So again, my back feels Lots better after the shot. I try to ice it today. This is the first time I've iced it, so that's not good, but bought this cool thing also yesterday. Got it at Walmart. I'm not a big Walmart fan, but they came through. Put the ice pack in this, and then you can wear this kind of as a, as a brace as well. So I haven't worked out in a week, exactly. I hurt my back a week ago. So again, you can see, not the end of the world. I can I can see some differences, but not the end of the world. We're gonna make this nice and tight. All right, recovery 101. 
ice pack is right on the injury. I'm gonna have to pull down the sweats a little bit because on the backside, there we go. But showing a little bit. But that is full day of eating. Like I said, macros we'll put right there. Macros are right there. I use my fitness pal. You guys can use something else if you like that better. But um, eight week challenge going on with fitness culture. We give you macros. You can pick intermittent fasting. You can pick carb cycling. You can pick just, just straight meal plan where we give you those macros. Um, I'm not a huge fan, I would say, of intermittent fasting, but I've never really tried it for health reasons. I, I don't believe it's all the hype and that like uh, calories are ca calories still at the end of the day. Um, I had some people asking me about that. I did a live for our Facebook group, which is part of what people get when they sign up for any of our programs. Anyhow, I'm gonna jump into bed. We're gonna jump on and read this and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Say goodnight to everyone. See you guys.